Hey guys, it's Chris from Dan's Nautical Shop, and today we're going to repaint the bottom of this boat. So today we are with our 1993 Chris Craft Concept Project boat. We just got this a little while ago. Uh, tonight we are sanding down the old Annie Fowling paint. It is a Interlux uh, bottom coat green. We're going to switch to the Pettit HRT Unipoxy in black. Um, so to do this, we're just going to do a simple switch. We're going to rough sand everything with 80 grit sandpaper and then we are going to roll on the Pettit HRT. In the fall, we'll probably strip everything off and start bare, but for right now, we just want to kind of get it set up, get it in the water and start using it. So this is the best way to do that. For this project, we are using a orbital sander with 80 grit sandpaper, a foam roller to roll on the anti-fouling paint, and Pettit's HRT Unipoxy Black anti-fouling paint. So anti-fouling paints are typically really heavy paints. As we can see, this is settling into the bottom. It's perfectly normal for these paints. I mean, they have a lot going on. They need to protect the bottom of the boat from algae growth and other things like that. So what we're gonna do now is blend it with uh, just a standard power drill and then a paint mixing stick. So I've used this paint uh, about three times now and I notice that it rolls out really nicely. It goes on smooth, uh, even with the rough bottom surface, like it, it seems to blend nicely. Also notice that uh, it's got a nice color afterwards. I mean, it's not meant to be beautiful, but it still looks pretty good. So congrats to Pet for having a great anti-fouling paint that covers well and goes on nicely. Okay, so we've rolled out our first coat of paint. Uh, looks pretty good so far. So next we are going to move those supporting blocks once this coat of paint dries. Uh, then we can get into the areas that we can't get at now because they're in the way. After that, we'll decide if we need to do a second coat because we're just doing a paint switch kind of different to colors. We're not really planning to do a second coat unless it's thin in some areas and we'll do touch-ups. So let this dry a couple days, move the blocks, see how it looks, go from there. 